Hey everybody, this is Yoko no Aguirre here, and today I'm going to talk to you about the 2014 horror comedy action series, um, or rather movie, um, Wolf Cop. Not Robocop, Wolf Cop. And um, this review is going to be a, another one that is not usually my, you know, normal stuff of anime movie reviews or anime reviews because... It will probably be more or less another live action review that I just, you know, watched recently. And I just want to see, uh, I just want to actually review this one because it's actually pretty good. It's like, imagine like, okay, so basically the story is of Wolf Cop is it takes place in the small town of Woodhaven where basically we have this disheveled, you know, out, you know, sort of like this, uh, you know, drunk, uh, uh, you know, a very pathetic cop named Lou Guru, who more or less, um, is living in this small redneck town, and basically he's kind of like the embarrassment of the police force, where, or rather the sheriff's department, where he literally does nothing but drink and work, and drink and sleep at work, and basically just let the other officers pretty much do his work for him, um, but there's a reason for why he is the way he is, and I'll get to it in a bit, but literally, during the events of the actual movie, is like election year because there's gonna be a new mayor, like new mayor, um, the reigning, uh, the actual current mayor, Mayor Bradley, is actually uh, competing against another competitor who's pro probably promised to revitalize the town, but fortunately, he's found wind up dead, uh, with a shotgun and whiskey on hand. Even though he never hunts and drinks. And it looks like a frame job. But apparently no one seems to know how, why this happened. And why he got murdered specifically. And, or who. Uh, but Luguru himself is also experiencing some various strange happenings with himself. Like for example, he's been noticing various uh, markings. Like a pentagram on his chest. And it's not really so all. But here's the thing. He was more or less part of... He was an unwitting victim of a satanic ritual by cultists that pretty much made him a werewolf. And he's going through transformations like literally like American Werewolf in London. Where it's very much like a really gruesome, gory, practical effects type of transformation. Skin's falling off and everything. It's like, yeah, it's really gory and this movie's not for kids at all, so... Like, if you were having kids at home or whatever, don't make them watch this. It will give them nightmares. But anyways, um, basically, he's going through transformations. Everybody's like, uh, Lou, are you right? Because you look kind of weird or you starting to act kind of weird. And he's actually doing police work because he's trying to figure out who cursed him and where the cultists are and who's and you know the more young covers them about the secrets of the town the more he realizes oh shit things are getting uh, serious and i need to act uh, act like an actual cop so he's starting to tr master the transformations and with his friend willie higgins you know the local town drunk and conspiracy nut he more or less uh he kind of uh became the wolf cop by stopping crime within Woodhaven and more or less, you know, beating the crap out of thugs, um, redneck, uh, uh, bikers, and a whole bunch of shit. Uh, but, and this is for spoilers, uh, towards the ending, uh, because it's noticed, like, it was referenced in the earlier parts of the movie that the curse was brought about by shapeshifters who were probably using... The werewolf or someone cursed with the werewolf curse for their own ends mainly drink the blood of the werewolf so they could be immortal so needless to say there's shapeshifters ruining the town like freaking reptilians so literally um the more he gets into the actual conspiracy of the reptilians running the town or the shapeshifters as they known uh the more he realize hey my father was the previous werewolf and someone else before him became the werewolf. And literally it's like a whole six line succession of werewolves being sacrificed by these shapeshifters in order to make themselves immortal still. So the more he covers, the more he unravels. Until he realizes that both the, sher the, uh, the sheriff, the 
the mayor and his friend Willie are all okay. Spoilers, shapeshifters. So yeah, basically he get betrayed by both his boss, the mayor of his town, and his supposed best friend, all because more or less they're shapeshifters who are trying to keep power in this town so they can rule as immortals, more or less. And more or less he kicks all kinds of ass uh, with the help of his uh, uh, co-worker, Sergeant Tina, who more or less like, she's also like part of the police force here. In Woodhaven, that basically kind of uh, really hates working with Lou at first, but realizes that, oh shit, he's a werewolf, and uh, yeah, this whole town's run by freaking shapeshifters. So, literally, she comes in to help Lou as a werewolf in order to save his life from the cultists and or the shapeshifters. And, of course, you know, they kick all kinds of ass and all in B-movie fashion, where they just blow their heads off and basically, you know... All that. So, it's a very, very, very good B-movie type of Blade Gore, you know, like, Grindhouse type of movie where it's like, oh yeah, Werewolf Cop, awesome, fucking metal. But yeah, literally, it's it's a good movie. I highly recommend it. There is a sequel called Wolf Cop uh, Again, which I haven't seen that one. It came out in 2017. And I'm trying to look for it so I can actually watch it and review it. But I'm trying to see where it is as available. So, uh, as soon as I figure that out, I'll let you know. And probably there's going to be a review of it. But yeah, that's more or less like my review of uh, Wolf Cop. It's a great movie. It's actually pretty decent. And it's actually kind of a gory, bloody thriller ride from beginning to end, more or less. There are some bits where it's like, oh, okay, so it's just set up for the event, uh, eventual payoff of him being a werewolf and also being a cop. So, with that being said, there's that. And I hope, hopefully, yeah, that's pretty much, hopefully you enjoy it. So, this has been Okanawa Kid, and this has been my review of Wolf Cop, and this is me signing out.